wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. All right, folks, got another great one here for you today. Uh, someone in the comments for my previous video, which was the uh, the Cadaverine, said, uh, "Hey, hey, briefs, why don't you try out Sabrina's Inferno again?" Now, I I, I did have a deck uh, a few months ago with Inferno, and that was really that was really fun, but that. Um, that got a bit nerfed. Uh, I don't know how. I can't remember. But it doesn't really work the way it was. But I have adapted it for the modern age. And I was planning to anyway. I've, I've been tinkering with this one for a while now. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's jump into it, shall we? Now, the idea is to get uh, as many spectres. Well, no, it's not. That's not the aim. The aim is by the end piece to make all our units, or as many as possible, Spectres. And then we slam down this Sabrina's Inferno and uh, really wipe out the opponent's side of the board and then just mop things up with our Revenants that our Draug will have provided in a previous turn. So let's run through it. we got both Echo cards. Excellent shooters. Excellent thinning. Get what you need. Okay? Oh, we're playing mobilization as well. I've got a few options for that. I'll get to it. And engineering solution. Not a bad little uh, stratagem, if I say so myself. All right. So, Draug, of course, will be close to the end game play uh, to transform all our humans into those Kedwini Revenants, which are Spectres. So, they will be immune to the Inferno. And then they can mop up the ones. You know what I'm saying? Queen Adalia here. Great card. Just gets you another engine piece. Great for uh, making a push round one. Alza's Double Cross is here. Guaranteed to pull Count Caldwell. So if, if you're going first, which usually, uh, you know, is not ideal. It is in this deck, folks. Get that Count Caldwell out. And then you can transform it with one of your cursed knights which is going to put a 10 point cursed knight into your graveyard which you can later on bring out with necromancy 10 point play cursed knights are spectres you can use this to uh perhaps transform something with poison um or rapture if you ever see rapture or is it rupture it's been so long folks um, uh, but I must know. I must know. Is it Rapture? Good content here. Good, good content. Rupture. Yes, indeed. Let's get back to the business. Right then. Um... I'm selling, I'm, I'm, folks, I'm selling something on Facebook Marketplace at the moment, right? A travel cot that I used to use when uh, the mini briefs were little, but they no longer need that, right? So, I'm getting these messages in real time here, asking for my address. I've already sent it, mate, okay? You just scroll a little bit up, and it's right there, okay? Uh, people looking for bargains. Unbelievable. Absolute bloody disgrace. Anyway, I digress. I've digressed too far. Sorry, folks. Let's get back to business. Uh, but, hey, in the comments, let me know if you're up for a travel cot. Pick up from uh, the Greater Sydney region. Okay? Now, um, yes, what are we doing? Curse Knight. Beautiful. Not bad. It's a Spectre. It will be immune from the Inferno. And, yeah, bringing out a 10-point Curse Knight. Not bad at all. Um, but, yeah, Necromancy is also, um, you know, versatile. Going to have a lot of options for it. Um, we got our Inferno, of course. Beautiful. Now, this can be tutored through a Neromancy, but that's it. Got no other tutors for it. Uh, so hopefully you draw it. But we do have some good thinning in the deck. So don't worry about it. You'll get it. 
Uh, John Natalis, good shooter. This can get you your amphibious assault or your reinforcements or your boiling oil. Okay, so don't brick it. You got three options. Just, uh, just make sure you don't brick it. I don't want to hear any stories, folks, that you've bricked your John Natalis. I won't be pleased. Now, uh, reinforcements, you know, pretty good. Get you another engine piece, not bad at all. Sabrina, very nice. Play this late onto a stacked enemy row, and you got a one strength unit on the board that your uh, Sabrina's Inferno will take care of. Um, just bear in mind if you tutor this with your Amphibious Assault, the Assault will boost it by three, so. That's not great, but you may have to, but uh, just make sure you can knock it down, you know? Anyway. Ronvid, not bad at all. Bit of carryover. We got a lot of soldiers, so you should be able to get this out. Um, change to taste. It's it's a bit wonky with the draug. Um, anyway, see, see how it works for you. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, one case of boiling oil. Bit of control, and here we go. Your bronze package, your two cursed knights, your two drummers, your two Karak city guards, your two Redanian archers, your two Radovids royal guards, and your two dun banners for some extra thinning. Now, your dun banners you can get out by boosting. You could play it next to your drummer, beautiful, or you could play it if you've already got a royal guards on the board and you can immediately boost it. Okay, not too shabby at all. Um, so yeah, these are all humans. They are all um, they are all soldiers. So we'll bring out your Ronvids, and they're great engines. They're going to demand an answer. You got a bit of movement tech. You got a bit of uh, molding the board through your arches, and uh, boostage. You know, very nice, very nice. Anyway, I have faffed on for far too long. Let's get into the business that you're all here for. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Assign ritual. Lippy Ceres, I dare say. Someone's trying to rush their way back into the pro rank, I feel. Although he's he was rank 4, so... Alright. This could be tricky business. No doubt about that. Going to need to uh, generate some points. We are going first, so we can do our uh, Count Caldwell play. We do have a Neuromancy, however, we would need... Ah, uh, Natalis can get us Assault onto the Curse Knight. Beautiful play. Okay. Good, good. Alrighty. That'll do. Now, I think we'll... A Nero... For the double cross onto Count Caldwell. Because otherwise it goes for a Curse Knight. That's probably not ideal later on. And it's some extra thinning. So let's go ahead and do that. Hell of an opening play. You'll love to see it. Count Caldwell doing the Lord's work. And we have a Curse Knight waiting in the ranks for a bit of transformation. Okay, so, uh, what do we have here? John Natalis. Mm. We could John Natalis now for the boiling oil. That's not bad. Then we don't, we don't risk bricking John Natalis. You know, that's a pesky, pesky business. Although it's not too pesky. Maybe we hold off. See if... See if we can't find a better target for that later on in the piece. Let's go ahead and do that. Thank you so much. Alright. Next order of business. The order of operations. Another hunter. Okay. Maybe he's playing a few beasts in the piece. I think we'll still hold off. I'm not too concerned about the, uh, the hunter twins here. Why don't we get a Redanian Archer on the board? And we're going to check out this new engineering solution uh, animation. Let's, let's do it. 
very nice. Very nice indeed. Now. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I wonder... Hmm, it's not committing too much so far, but nor are we. Nor are we. Well, kinda. But it's all part of the thinning machine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, standard, yeah, there it is. Okay. Pesky business. Pesky business. Uh, okay. Let's put down the Tamirian drummer fellow. That'll do. We're going to need to start getting some points. So we may Natalis for that boiling oil. And Amphibious Assault will get us some, uh, some, good, some good value as well. But, uh, yeah. Assign Ritual. What's your next play, sir? The Snowflake. I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. No, sir. Not on my watch. Yeah, cool, cool. Tricky business. Alright, why don't we get some thinning action going? Let's get out these, uh, these done banners, I feel. That'll do. I know we're still a little behind, but we, uh, we got some, we got some points here. We got this uh, engine here. Next, we'll be able to take out this pesky Brockvar Hunter. We can then Natalis for something. Mm. But, uh, yeah, they should be able to put out quite a bit of points in the piece. Now, if I were a lesser man... I might be tempted to brick a bit of this totem with Sabrina, but she is part of our in-game pl plays. So why don't we just kill one with uh, the John Natalis here. That'll do. And kill this fellow. And we are just safe from a pass here. It's getting tricky business getting real tricky business and at least this way he's got a foul blood fanatic that was not transformed into a uh, bear abomination so that'll be going back into his deck you know that's something uh, but uh, looking at this hand it's not a whole lot more that we really want to commit we have thinned rather well folks we can play the reinforcements, but it's a pretty, pretty weak source at this juncture. So he's probably got yet another skirmisher. No? Okay. Got rid of a bear witcher and gutting slash... Uh, okay. Um, if we pass here, he just bleeds us to high heavens. Goes for the 2 0, I imagine. Could, could Sabrina here? I don't hate that. Let's let's do that. And that way at least Sabrina goes back into his deck through Lippy, which may be good for him if he can get a hunter. Oh, he's, he does have damage, so it, he may be able to work with it. 
but uh, it probably doesn't play into his hands too well. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. He's he's getting some good stuff out of us, unfortunately, and deciding to push on. This is a tricky business matchup, and I don't care for it. Yeah, that's that's no good. That's not great. What do we reckon? Uh lose on even is less than ideal. Ah, screw it. Let's get another card out of him, shall we? Not great. So he'll get uh, five points out of this thing here now. But hey, maybe his hand is so good he doesn't want to commit. No, that. Okay, here we go. But we're going to have to pass, I feel. Just going to have to do it, folks. We could... Uh, if we necro... We could necro that. We'd just be okay. It's not the play I want to make, but... Uh, maybe, just maybe... We get out of this alive if he doesn't want to commit these cards. Ho ho, yeah, buddy. Alright. Still. He got some fine cards out of us here. And I don't feel I want to bleed. Do I? Do I want to get Lippy out of him? Got some good cards. So, uh, what's our end game? Inferno. We don't. We no longer have Sabrina, so we'd want to be able to damage stuff down. Uh, what to do? What to do? Do we bleed? Do we commit leader and just bleed to high heavens? I'm tempted, folks. I really am. Nah, come on. Let's let's make it a real showdown piece. It's going to a seven card round three situation. It may be rather foolhardy, but that's what we're here for. We're here for foolhardy plays. Epic showdowns. Oh, okay. There's the Lippy. There's the Morkvarg. Here come the Roach. So that's that's a lot of his points out of the window. Ooh. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't really lose anything either. Ah, uh, Knickers. Good boy. Good, good boy. Okay. Okay, so it'll be. We know that there's a Svalblood fanatic in there, which ain't ideal, and there is a Sabrina in there. Now let's see. We want. We are going to want Inferno. A Dahlia would be great. The Archer would be great. Ronvid. Not so much. Come on, man. 
Okay, so Adali is out. And Nero will have to be for Inferno. And the... Uh, the Assault... Probably for the Archer boy. Here we go. And this Cursed Knight is... Uh, garbage. That'll do it. Okay, okay, okay. What are we making copies of? Probably the Archer, right? We want to knock something down to one. Knock something down a pig. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's get this... That, yeah, it's garbage for us later. That, that'll do, that'll do. Alright, next, I think, let's go for the Archer. Get those going. And then, yeah, we want these these engine lads going as well. It's getting a lot of points, but maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get some, uh, some epic, uh, some epic Sabrina's Inferno action. Alright, here we go. Now, he's probably got Heatwave as well, which is kind of... Kinda bad for us. Alright, let's... We need stuff down. Let's get that to a one. Thank you so much. Now, of course, with Ursine Ritual, he could he could just uh, damage it himself. He may see what we're trying to do. Uh, he might not even suspect Inferno. He may just suspect Draug. And that's why we want stuff down to one. Yeah... There's a heat wave, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's get this drama down. Try to get some other stuff down. So, Inferno will do one damage to every non Spectre and do it again if something is destroyed. God damn it. God damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. City Guard. So, uh... Hmm. It's our last charge here. Our last instance, uh, instance of damage. Will he kill this? Probably. Though all his leaders are gone. You know what? I don't I'm just gonna save it. If he wants to kill it, so be it. It's whatever. Sure. Strong play. Alright, our, uh, our action plan is pretty set at this stage, folks. We just get these going. And then we Draug. Then a Nero for a big Inferno, but will it be enough? Will it be enough? Probs not. Got a 20 point deficit here. Okay, Hame Scout. He may get unlucky with that. Let's, let's see. So, I think, he, what did he discard there? The other skirmisher, perhaps, but no room at the inn. Okay, so, is there anything we want to move? Because these guys are going to get transformed right now. Don't think so. Nothing worth moving, right? And we got to use this charge. So, it'll do one damage to everything. So this, this will die, this goes down to a 2, then it does it again, goes down to a 1. Uh, Alright, we'll just do that. And Draug Styles. Yeah, I don't know folks, I don't know if it's going to be enough, but it will, it will be a nice, nice Inferno. Nice and toasty. An appropriate uh, game board here. Very Inferno-ish. 
A humble gunning slash. Alrighty. 20 point uh, deficit. And we are going to trigger this blue boy Lugos as well. But let's see what it does here. Here we go. Inferno styles. Okay. And a couple of ones. Oh, buddy. Look at this. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. And it's as easy as that, folks. We went from a 20-point deficit into a 9-point victory. Easy as that, folks. Let's bloody well do it again. Lockdown, okay. Okay, could be uh, the deck. The deck uh, manipulation. Could be a few things. Alright. What do we have here? Uh, going first, excellent. We can do our Caldwell play. We do have Curse Knight. Yes, not bad at all. Don't need two of them. Okay, we got double cross already, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get out the good count. Very nice play. Alright. Right then. Okay, it's time for action. Come on. Alright, that's a little bit pesky business, but uh, nothing to be too concerned about. Let's get down this cursed night post haste. Alrighty, very good. So, now, John Natalis, what are you doing for us? What are you bringing to the table? Why are you in my deck? Make your case. Boiling oil or assault. Not bad options. Not bad at all. Alright, I'll keep you around till the next review period, in the next quarter. No problem. Maybe we boiling all this. Nah, better to go for the assault, I feel. Okay, shall we? Yeah, see, this armor is a bit pesky business. I don't know if it's worth a Dahlia. Let's get an archer down, give it a nice shield, and start uh, hitting down this pesky armor business, shall we? I think that's a hell of a play, don't you? Now, Ramon, okay, okay. So, some sort of soldier package here, by the looks of it. The locks. We don't really have good answers for the locks. Alright, that's fine. We know that he's got another cavalry in the ranks. So this archer is probably... Uh, probably no more. And it was probably a mistake to play it. I probably should have saved it, because it's a good mobilization target. But, oh well! Now he's getting some points out. Why don't we perhaps... Uh, do we save it, Dahlia? Hmm. What to do here? Now we'll play a Dahlia. On the drummer. Now a tawny joust would certainly uh, take care of this. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. We, we got the Natalis. We got the Anero. So we got options here, folks. Master of Disguise. Okay, why don't we thin out these Dun Banners? I think that's pretty good. Or do we... Dis Master of Disguise. This fellow. It's a bit pesky business. And we could Anero for... Amphibious Assault. Yeah, alright. Let's... We don't want to brick John Natalis. We're getting rid of a pesky engine piece. We're getting the full value on the boiling oil. 
and we're doing some thinning. I think that's not a bad course of action at all. So, yeah, we probably, I'd say we are Nero for the assault onto the Dun Banner. Thin those boys out. It would be a rather chunky Dun Banner. But that's okay. We're getting, we're getting some stuff out of him. But he's certainly getting some stuff out of us too. Alright. Uh, we can probably hold off. Let's do this. No, we could have done, actually. We could have just reinforcements the informant and actually locked his drummer. Oh, well. Okay, yeah. He's a lock specialist, this guy. Hmm, pesky business. Real pesky business. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna carry on, fella. We're barely keeping ahead, and uh, the Dun Banner could prove problematic. Actually, I've put too many units on the back row. Yes. Oh well. You live, you learn. Okay, at least he's put that on there. What are you taking? Oh, probably the 10-point Curse Knight is not bad. If he realizes it. That's probably his best bet, but he didn't. That's okay. And he's cleared a bit more space for us here. So, uh, yeah, we can afford to put this down. Yeah, okay, that'll do. And we have a big play in the thinning of the Dun Banners, if need be. Okay, okay, this ain't bad. We've And we, I'm happy to get out his Invocation, his Brathens, and his Ramon. So, not bad, Cup Bearer. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Bit of poison action, huh? Uh, that's alright, we're going to go for it anyhow. Let's do this. Amphibious Assault Styles onto the Dun Banners. Let's thin those out. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. So yeah, even if he poisons this drummer, we should be fine. 12 points a hit. We each have, well, he'll have a passive point in the drummer. Yeah, I think we should be okay. But, uh... This guy sold me a bill of goods, and... The chickens will come home to roost, fella. No doubt about that. You know, I'm no, I'm no longer going to be lining the pockets of the fat cats in Washington. I know, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, right. And look at this. Look at this hand. Pretty damn fine. Now, what do we suspect? What is this deck? I don't want to bleed, though, I feel. Now, I think he just took a archer off us, right? Yeah, okay. Would have been better off taking this ten-point curse knight, fella. Oh, well. You live, you learn. Now, we obviously want Draug. We do have both our Echo cards here. Yeah. 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 We, we want some better stuff here, please. Necro would be great. We want Sabrina. And uh, we want Draug, please. Okay, good. Good, good, good. These have Veil, so if he's playing some sort of... Some more locks and poisons... Yeah, good. Good, good, good. We're going to be immune from that garbage. Thank you so much. Now, what do we want to be doing? Um, I reckon... I reckon... See, here's the problem. If we... Amphibious Assault for Sabrina, it's going to boost it. 
by three. Comes down for four. We don't have any ways of damaging it. That's that's a problem. So we may just have to do a Nero for the Sabrina. And then we can uh, assault for the... Ronvid, maybe? Anyway, let's, uh, let's stop faffing about, shall we? Alright, these guys are, of course, going to be vulnerable to the tawny jousts, the assassinations, but uh, certainly not the poisons or the locks. Thank you so much. But, uh, sure, sure, okay. That's pretty good, uh, but the movement probably won't serve him too well. Alright, let's get the other one down. And this being a one is, you know, it's good for our, our revenants that'll be uh, coming onto the board, Poose. Now, what do we want to do with... Yeah, so a Nero has to be for Sabrina. Assuming he gets a few more engine pieces. He should do. Uh, assault. Assault. Do we go Ronvid? Or maybe even Curse Knight. Transform something here. That might be a good play. Yes. What are you going to do with that fella? Yes. I reckon... Do we, do we just play Sabrina now? I know it's early on in the piece, but... I don't want to play Draug yet. Obviously not playing Sabrina yet. So our only options are either the Sabrina play or the Curse Knight play. And I think Curse Knight may come in handy against something else. I reckon we go for the Enero onto the Sabrina play. It may be, may be foolhardy. Uh, I guess we'll just stack onto the front. Whatever. He's going to... He's gonna, he's gonna play around it, um, but, you know, if these guys survive, yeah, I reckon, uh, cause he could have, he could have a bit of coup de gras action, so that might be worth transforming. Plus he's gonna poison it now. Oh, he'll double poison it. No? Okay. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, he's saving this for coup de gras, yeah, alright. Now we assault styles. You're not getting another uh, Joachim. No, sir. Not on my watch, fella. Thank you so much. But we do have a juicy... He's got some points, and we've given him a juicy target for the Poisonage. He's only got one more trigger on the Masquerade Ball. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Coup de Gras, yeah. Crappy Coup de Gras. You love to see that. Now we must draug. So. We're going to move these fellas onto the front row here. Thank you so much. And transform. The Karak City Guards who were doing the Lord's work. And we should have a pretty good Sabrina's Inferno. All our units are immune. They are all Spectre Boys. Oh, usurps. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. This is a big gap. Now, these operatives will go down to one. Ah, oh, actually. No, because uh, this one will. Anyway. Let's just jump into it. Let's see what happens, shall we? Let's do this thing. And Sabrina will trigger, doing the Lord's work there. And there you have it, folks. You love to see it. And it's as easy as that. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Two beautiful games. First thing in the morning, you'll love to see that. Two massive catch-up plays there, folks.
Sabrina's Inferno. One for the ages, one for the record books. It's an old favourite of mine, and I'm glad that I adapted it for the modern age. Alright, folks. Tinker with it if you wish. Why don't you try it yourself? And uh, let me know what you think. Thank you again for watching, guys. I don't say it enough. It always is very much uh, appreciated and flattering. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you in the comments, folks. Cheers.